everybody how are you welcome back to my channel I am exhausted I hope you guys are not but you know uh, what do you do what are you gonna do about it just uh, curl up in a bowl no nope. you push through and you get through and you film because at least this is what I like to do if you're new to the channel wow that's that wasn't a good start but if you are new I would love for you to become part of this family because uh, it truly is an amazing family that we have here on my channel but I would like you to wait till the end of the video because I mean how the heck are you supposed to know if you like me if you don't watch the whole video that's my logic anyway. Today I'm excited because I got a trend mood box. I was not able to get the last few. I think I've only gotten one or two. You, you would have to be so like right on it in order to actually snag them. I was surprised that I got one. And um, do you want to know the funniest thing of all? I have no idea what is in this box because I didn't even bother to look at what the products that were going to be in this box was. I don't even remember the price. I think I, I won't even speculate. I will look it up and put it on the screen for you, but I don't know what's in here. So maybe it's not a good box, which is why I was able to get it. Yeah. I never said I was a logical person sometimes. So yeah, I just saw Genmu and clicked and purchased and uh, I have I have no clue so you and I uh, we're gonna sit down and we're gonna find out together and either be really happy together or be really like what did I do I did not touch up my makeup hence the reason that I probably look like poopies and probably look as exhausted as I feel because you know why because I'm not a, a real YouTuber. I'm a real person with a real job and tons of responsibilities and do not have the luxury of what those other YouTubers have. I wish them well. I'm happy for them, but I'm just not one of them. That's all I'm saying, you know? Anywho, I love the purple box. You just the purple... You know what? If nothing else, I got a purple box. That makes me happy. <laughs> Let's see what's in here. I even brought my glasses this time. Hmm, look at that. And inside it says, give your self-care ritual a professional upgrade. Oh, Skin Beauty. Well, I'm guessing this is a skincare box, which is probably not something that I need because I have an overabundance of it. But uh, I, I got a trendy box. Yay me. Purple paper. It is a bundle, so it is nicely protected. It was very light. That's what I was surprised about, too, how light the box was. Oh. Okay, so there's only... Two things in here and a card. I'm very glad that they that they sent a card along with this. It gives you a whole bunch of directions. It says retinol plus C smoothing peel. Let me just take the this out first. Okay, what is this? This says anti-stress CBD drops. Does it anti-stress the entire self or or just the facial area? Because if it distressed the entire body, if I had a bathtub, maybe I'll go get a blow-up pool and just dunk myself immerse myself in in the de-stressing let's read this is from glow skin beauty which i haven't heard of let me grab my glasses because i can't see jack without them this says 1000 milligrams of cbd and adaptogen calming serum i have so many serums they are coming out of my eyeballs yep that is the word i'm still going to stick with so i don't get uh, demonetized Calm, smooth, and adapt with 1,000 milligrams full-spectrum CBD. You know, I am researching a lot on the CBD to see what it does because there's so many types. There's hemp oil. There's hemp seed extract. There's CBD. There's cannabis sativa oil. I want to do some research and see what the benefits are, any deleterious effects possibly of them, that's going to be a coming video. I mean, if you guys are interested. If not, well, I'm just going to research for myself because uh, your girl needs to know. Cute little packaging. Glass bottle. So it says to apply drops directly after cleansing and toning twice daily. Well, of course, it has the water. It is aloe leaf juice, not the extract, which is not a bad thing. But as I've mentioned previously, but it bears repeating that the extract, any extract is going to be more potent than an ex um, um, a juice in itself. And then it has the cannabidiol, shea butter, 
glycerin, squalane, bojoba seed oil, got a bunch of peptides. After the phenoxyethanol, which is the preservative, then it has salicylic acid, citric acid, which isn't always the best, but they're going to be in very low qualities, quantities, uh, because of the position. But everything up front seems to be very nice. Now, of course, you know that I have serums open, but I got this box. I want to basically give a first impression of this box. Henceforth, and ergo, I'm going to try the product. Oh, it's very, very milky. I didn't expect that. I expected it to be a clear serum. It's kind of viscous. I mean, it's runny, like you would expect a serum, but it's a little thicker than I thought. I detect a scent, but it's, I, it's not, I don't know because I didn't even see any um, per perfumes, I can't even speak, perfumes listed. It really soaks in quite nicely. It feels very nice on the skin. It doesn't have that slippy, slimy, glycerin type feeling. It left a little bit of tack. Let me see what it says about it. So the anti-stress CBD drops. Again, it says to calm, soothe, and adapt with the 1000 milligrams they keep pushing that full spectrum cbd and a therapeutic adaptogen complex the key benefits of it are that it's calming the anti-stress aspect of it is going to be the adaptogen complex and it also has the mushrooms but um the mushrooms i noticed were after the phenoxyethanol so i don't know what um impact they're going to have on the ingredient base but they're supposed to strengthen the skin's natural response to environmental stressors. They say that it's customizable. You can use it full strength or you can mix it in, which you can do with any serum. So this looks like it might be a glycolic peel kit. So let me take a look at this. The other item that they have on here, which I'm hoping is in here, it's called the Bio Renew EGF Drops, but I don't have another bottle. All I have is this little kit here. Am I missing a product? That's going to be interesting. Before we get into that, let's get into this little kit. In here, it looks like you get a cute little headband that says Glow Beauty. It's very, very soft, and I can tell you what I do like. It has little silicone grippies on the inside, which means uh, on the top and bottom, which means it's not going to slide off of your head. So that feels like a nice, stretchy, comfortable headband. You also seem to get a mask brush which is nice because if you guys remember, I broke that really cute uh, stone masking brush that I had. Yes, it has firm yet rather soft uh, bristles to it. Seems to have um, a plastic or acrylic type handle and a metal ferrule. I'll be curious to try this and I do happen to like that it comes in a little baggie. The next thing you have is a mixing cup. It must be like a whole process. So you have gauze pads, it feels like a medical kit. A little plastic mixing cup, I'm going to make the presumption. This is the glycolic resurfacing cleanser. This is a gentle clean cleanser, cream cleanser. And this says hydrate lip care. It is a barrier lip balm, conditioning lip balm and protective skin salve. And they give you a tissue and Q-tips. Okay. I my curiosity is, is peaked. I have to read what the heck I'm supposed to do with all these products, and there's still another bag. Maybe that's why this one was still available. Okay, this is the Retinol Plus C Peel Boost. It says professional. Once you open it, you have to use it within 24 hours. So I'm thinking that this is a one-time use product. Well, it is a one-time use product. So we're not gonna open that right now. This is the Renew Serum. It soothes, smooths, and refines with mild exfoliant. It helps stimulate mild exfoliation, improving the appearance and texture of skin with retinol, glycolic acid, and salicylic acid. And this says the Hydrobrite Pro 5 Liquid Exfoliant. This is an AHA and PHA brightening exfoliating treatment. And here's just a little glass ampule of it. Here are the instructions. You're going to cleanse your face with the glycolic resurfacing cleanser. Then you're going to saturate one of the two cotton gauze pads with the Hydrobrite Pro 5 liquid exfoliant. 
that's going to be this one. It says use about half the bottle, swipe evenly all over the face, then discard the gauze pad. You're going to allow it to dry for about 30 seconds, then you're going to saturate the second gauze pad and use the remaining exfoliant and repeat the application. They're telling you to discard the gauze pad and allow face to dry. Now actually I thought I was going to save the gauze pad for, um, you know, I don't know, memory's sake. The step three is you're going to apply the Renew Serum. That would be this little tube. You can apply it evenly to the face using a pea size amount and allow that to dry for 30 to 60 seconds. So this particular product, although the others are one time use, it appears you will get quite a few uses out of this one. Then you have to, oh, okay. The lip balm is not just a lip balm for lip balm's sake. If that's such a thing. You have to protect sensitive areas of the face with the barrier balm and you're going to use the cotton swabs to apply fully around each eye, encircle the entire orbital area, nostrils, lips, and earlobes. Apply to any additional sensitive areas as needed. Okay, in this cup you are going to pour the contents of the Retinol Plus CPL Boost. That's this puppy. They tell you how to open it. Then they want you to take the mask brush and apply a thin, even layer to the face, décolleté, and backs of hands. It's not recommended to apply to the neck, which means it's probably a strong peel. If you have sensitive skin, oh, if you have sensitive skin, don't apply it to the neck. Okay. You're going to leave it on for 15 minutes. After the 15 minutes, use the tissue. Thoroughly blot off excess product by pressing into skin. Do not rub or wipe the product off completely. Note a subtle yellow cast is normal to see after blotting the product. Do not apply other products to face until the next morning. Then, okay, so there's a purpose to all of these things. And you're going to cleanse the face the next morning with the gentle cream cleanser to enhance your peel results. And you're going to apply the Renew Serum, which is why they give you quite a bit of this for the next three to five nights per week. So I'm thinking that you don't use any other products on your face except what's in this kit for the specified amount of time. So it says the post peel care tips. Do not vigorously rub the skin. Use mechanical scrubs or pick at the skin. Do not exercise for 24 to 48 hours post peel. Avoid heat, steam and humidity, especially directly to the face. Well, I better wait to do this because you know it's still going to be warm and the amount that I sweat, heck to the no. Do not wax or use depilatories for seven days post peel. Apply sunscreen with SPF or higher for a minimum of 14 days post peel. So this is essentially a professional peel, one that you would go into salon to do is what I'm thinking. What I just realized also because, well, me, is they had what they call the peel party where they're going to go over all of the specifics of this and how to use it. And uh, yours truly missed it. Yes, I did. Therefore, I'm going to do a little bit more research, go on to the, the brand's website and get more information because I think if this is one of those peels where your face actually like peels, they're fabulous, but... You really don't want to be in public when you are flaking off like um, a lizard person. And I also don't think you can wear uh, makeup when you're doing this. So it was $45. They say the kit is usually $75. So that's a decent savings. I am excited to try it, but I'm thinking that I'm going to probably wait until Thanksgiving weekend. So if my skin does start to peel like a lizard, I can give myself a little bit of uh, time to get rid of that look. Maybe I'll even do it on camera. My question is one, 
Do you do things like I do and just uh, buy things without knowing what you're buying? <laughs> you actually get this box and are you uh, curious maybe to see me use it uh, or to actually know if these products worked? wasn't a company that I heard of. I am very excited. I do enjoy researching skincare and ingredients and I love the science of it. As I said sometimes I wonder if I chose the right career. But no, I like my career. Anyway, I hope that wasn't as boring as um, I am perceiving that it might be to you all, but I do look forward to hearing your thoughts down below because that is the whole gosh darn reason that I do this is talking to you guys. If you're wondering what is on my eyes, I am wearing the new Pat McGrath, is it the Celestial Divinity palette? Her new palette, which has a format that is a little bit larger than usual, maybe a little bit less product, but um, a lesser price tag as well. It was uh, $75, so I am testing out today. The very first time that I put it on my eyes, I did show the palette on my Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, Yes, sure, go do that, please. Love you guys. Nugget. So very much. <laughs> my goodness. I hope you're all healthy and well. And of course, my friends, whatever part of the world you're in and around, I hope you're having an amazing day, an amazing week coming up. Please stay safe, my friends. And uh, I will see you really soon in my next video. I don't know what it is, but oh, I'll be here. <laughs> Bye. Um, well, my pu my curiosity. <laughs>